For this video, I have a lot of items that I recently bought from Daiso, literally today, because my city actually just got a brand new Daiso. The grand opening was yesterday, so it's it's literally brand new. I went there today. Um, despite being small, the store itself had tons and tons of items. I was only there for two minutes before my basket was filling up. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what I got. I did already open two snacks. So the first is this Gokuri Grapefruit Pink and White by Suno Tree. It's in this aluminum can that is uh, able to close. It has a screw on top. This is a grapefruit drink, I want to say, or a juice. It does have pulp, which I honestly do like. Um, you can feel the little granules from the, I don't know what they're called, I guess seeds or the flesh of the grapefruit. It's delicious. It's basically grapefruit juice. It's definitely bitter like grapefruit. It, it just tastes like natural juice and it's delicious. Very refreshing. I really, really liked that one. Next is this Katamucho corn snack in spicy curry flavor. This one was okay. Um, it, I've never had spicy curry, but to me it just tasted like salty seasoned snacks. It was very familiar in the sense that I've, I've ordered stuff from Candy Son that tasted almost exactly like this. Um, it was good, but definitely not spicy, I would say. Well, it's a little spicy, but mainly for flavor, not something that will definitely punch you in the back of the throat. For anyone unaware, Daiso is a Japanese dollar store that's only available in certain locations in America as well as other parts of the world. It really is unlike other dollar stores in the US. I think the closest thing that we have is Dollar Tree, but the items that Daiso has tend to be of very high quality and just very specific. Like there's stuff there that you won't find other stores selling, especially for that price. So it's just a neat place to shop at. Everything is $1.50 unless otherwise marked or just assume licensed stuff like Sanrio stuff um, tends to be a little more <laughs> than $1.50. So next I'll do the rest of the snacks. I didn't get many. While I was in line, someone um, was talking about these honey butter potato chips. So I'm going to try those and I'm hoping they're good. This is by Kalbi, which is a company that makes a lot of the snacks I've seen from Japan. I don't want to waste them so I won't actually be trying them on camera right now. I bought this bag of baked rice snack in the chocolate flavor. These are good. They definitely taste like a very fluffy uh, corn snack that is covered in chocolate and it's so delicious. I've had something similar to this before, just not from this brand that I've bought from other Asian shops, but this is a wheat cracker, or I like to call it a ramen snack because it looks exact and tastes texture-wise almost exactly like ramen. And this is the spicy flavor. So it's basically like eating dried ramen. And to, honestly, it tastes pretty good. And then the last thing is this bar of Meiji milk chocolate. I had this the last time I was at Daiso and anytime my brother visits the one in Dallas, it's always sold out. So I'm very happy that I managed to snag this. So that's the last of the snacks. I'm gonna get to the actual items I bought. First is this tray that lifts up so you can put other trays, I guess, and dishware on top. My mother loves these in her cabinets, but I also like to use them in the pantry just to add more room. Very useful when you have a big family. And they had a lot of different versions. They had some that were all plastic. Did not seem that sturdy to me. Um, so I got the, the kind that had the metal wire on the bottom. So hopefully these are very sturdy. Dollar Tree sold something similar to this, except it was kind of a corner piece, like half of this, and it was sealed on one side, so it, it fit in the corner perfectly. I have not seen those in a while, so maybe they don't sell them anymore, but I like that this one is bigger. And for 50 cents more, it's not bad. Next is this A4 size folder or document case with a handle. The handle I'm not too fond of, but I have been um, looking into buying these for a while. I think the last time I was in Daiso, they tempted me, but I just ended up not buying it. And this I plan to use for some of the doujinshi that I have um, that is maybe the same author or the same series. A lot of doujinshi tends to be A4 size, so this will be perfect to kind of store that in a more secure container. This item was $3. They do mark the ones that tend to be over $1.50. I've actually bought this before. It's a little bit different though. And the one I have is a little bigger too. Um, but as you can see, this is a little set of drawers. 
And I just, I love these to store stationery in on my desk. I have a lot of paper clips, pencils, erasers, knickknacks, um, just stuff like that that is small enough to not need a big drawer. So these tiny ones are just perfect for that. I was really excited to find these. These are display stands with three little stairs. So I'm planning to use these to store or display figures, but I'm really hoping I can also use them to display squishies. The way I have them displayed is very similar, but just actually having something that's meant for that is so nice. They also had the big, like the big one with the black bottom that's just this this plastic case um, on the top. I, I think I've shown it in a walkthrough. I keep smaller figures in there um, and I was tempted, but I, once I rearrange everything to how I want it, I'm going to decide if I want to go back and buy that one as well. I actually forgot I bought these. <laughs> so these are baked wheat cakes. These are really good. I always buy them when I go to a Daiso. I got the chocolate and the coffee flavor. Um, these are for other people, but I can tell you because I have tried both, they are delicious. The way they're baked um, allows you to kind of rip them down the seams that you see at the top and peel them and eat them that way. It's very interesting, so delicious, and they have a variety of flavors of this particular type of roll. Green tea, taro, coffee, chocolate, all kinds of stuff. These are on the pricier side though. I think they were like $2.75 or something like that. Something that was very surprising to me, just a little, is that they had squishies all over that store. Um, there were squishies on pens, they were, there were some small squishies, some sumikogurashi, like really tiny squishies that I was so tempted by. Um, but the thing that got me to actually buy a squishy, because a lot of them are kind of the common ones, they're just rebranded and painted to look a little bit unique. Uh, but they had the squishies that were actually released in the Daiso Japans, and I'd been trying to get my hands on these, buying them straight from Japan for months, and I'm so glad I don't have to do that now because it would not have been worth it. They are pretty slow rising. However, I do think the quality is very different because I have seen Japanese YouTubers open these when they first got released anyway and they were just so slow rising. It was magnificent to watch. These I think have more of the AliExpress generic Banggood type of squishiness. That said, um, I think these would work great for DIYs. And they do feel like they're sticky, which I like. Okay, so I took one out, um, and in addition to the melon bun and this bagel, I'm assuming, they also had this little croissant looking thing and a toast with an egg on it. Sorry if you can hear all the animals going crazy right now. It is so late at night, I don't understand why they feel the need to make noise. So it's not as sticky as I expected, but it definitely has that pull from a sticky squishy, which is really nice. It has a more foamy texture, but still slow rising and very, very soft. It's really nice. And it has that, although a little plasticky, very delicious sweetbread smell that a lot of generic squishies have. It does have the loop for the ball chain and the ball chain is in the bag, but I'm gonna probably just use this as a handheld squish squishy. So cute. Next is this Mummy's Correction Tape. Honestly, I just bought this because of the cute little dispenser. <laughs> it's just adorable and it just fits so well with Halloween, which is right around the corner. I've been needing correction tape anyway, so I thought this would be a perfect little decoration. And if I don't end up using it, I can give it to a friend who I know will absolutely love it. Um, my only thing is, I don't know how I can uh, refill this. Daiso, th the nice thing about Daiso is that they tend to sell refills of any weird gadget that they may have that needs a refill. Um, so I'm hoping if I go back, they might have a refill for this. Let's try it. Oh, it's beautiful. Perfect. It's exactly what I needed. So cute. I kind of wish I'd bought another for my friend because I am definitely keeping this. I will not be opening this, but this is a lip balm. I bought this for somebody else and 
I mainly bought it because of the cute little dispenser. Like, look how cute that is. Looks so cute. They had a lot of different flavors as well. Honestly, the stationery section is what tempted me the most, but I fought it because I have tons of stationery already. However, I could not pass this up because I did see it on their Instagram not too long ago. This is a pencil sharpener that's in this cute little bear design, but the cookie actually opens up. That is the sharpener. And what's special about this one is that you can screw it onto a water bottle and use that as the like trash can, so to speak. I have a ton of sharpeners that don't have containers in them, and if they do, they're very small. So I thought this was a brilliant idea to use discarded water bottles as like portable trash cans for your pencil sharpener. It's just so smart to me, and it's so cute. So I will be very excited to try that. Next, I have this mechanical two millimeter HB pen mechanical pencil with lead. But was very happy to see that they included lead. Um, so this is a mechanical pencil. However, the lead is very thick. And I actually needed this for my art class right now. So this was perfect to spot in the store. They had multiple of these very thick leaded mechanical pencils. Um, but this is the one that I thought would work the best. I also got this pen. It says remove by friction. Frixon. And I think I've actually bought this type of pen before, or at least I own one. So what's special about this pen is it's, it's actually a highlighter and it's erasable. So let's see if I can demonstrate. I think it works fairly well. I think it would work a lot better if you let the highlighter dry before you try to erase it. But I just found the concept so interesting and cool that I thought, you know, that might come in handy for journaling. And then I did get tempted by a lot of the stickers and official merchandise for, for Sumiko Gurashi that they had, but I ended up only getting some of these little sticky notes. And these were on the more expensive side. Um, licensed stuff, they had some Disney stuff as well, tends to be on the pricier side. But I'm willing to pay that price for something this cute. Um, this was the most expensive thing by far that I ended up purchasing. This was $5. It's a little blind bag that contains a plush. And I will open this now. It says Series 1 features Penguin Neko, Shirokuma, Tonkatsu, Tokage, and Ebi Furai no Shippo. All right, let's see who I get. It's very destructive how they want you to open this. <gasps> no way. Oh, yes, I got the little dinosaur guy. So these have bean bags on the bottom and they're very firm, which I like. I don't like the smaller plushies to be very hollow. I want them stuffed so they retain their shape. So it's really cute, I love it. Cute little keychain, really long tag. And this is official, official merchandise. That's the neat thing about Daiso is that not only is it cheap, but they get official merchandise from Japan. So cute. And I believe his name, yeah, it's Tokage. Oh, but that little shrimp guy is so cute too. And that is everything that I bought at Daiso. Honestly, looking at it, it's not a lot. I thought I bought a ton more, but I'm glad I restrained myself. Definitely going back again though, um, to catch some of the stuff that I, I missed and I kind of want to get another look at. Because this is COVID, they did have a line to get inside, so that made me want to rush, so I didn't leave people waiting outside for too long. But overall, I still feel like I saw majority of what I wanted to see, and I'm really happy with the selection that they have. So many other things that they sold were just so useful. They had Ziploc bags that I was very tempted to buy for my squishies because they came in so many different sizes. I might have to go back for that. There were a lot of other snacks that I wanted to look at, but because it was by the checkout, I didn't want to crowd the area too much. So I'm definitely gonna go back and have another look at stuff that I feel I missed. Hot psych, I did go back the exact next day, <laughs> but I had family visiting, so I thought it would be a perfect chance to kind of show it off and an excuse to go back. So I ended up buying oh, 
it's a little crumpled, but that's fine. They sell these long tubes or rolled up sheets of felt. And I, it, Halloween's right around the corner, and um, I'm dressing up as a scarecrow, so I thought I could use this to make a hat. I already have a hat, but I felt some black would be really well. So I'm going to see what I can do with that. I also got this sticker sheet of Rilakkuma. I actually didn't see the Rilakkuma stuff when I first went there. So when I went back and I saw an end cap with a ton of Rilakkuma stuff, I was pretty happy. And this was the last one that they had of this particular sheet. So very nice. I have not tried this, but I'm excited to try it. This is Sanuk Sanukia Udon, fresh Japanese style Udon. Honestly, I tried to figure out what flavor it was and it didn't say because they had various different ones that had different colors um, but it, it doesn't say what flavor it is so we'll see if that's any good or not I got mainly more stationary stuff honestly there is this tin or plastic container that um, I think like is open on one side or does it come with two? Oh, it comes with two okay that's pretty cool those could also be cool for display, like squares, if you were to display them like that and just put like little figures in there. These were the bags that I was talking about. Um, they're Ziploc bags, but I'm very curious to see what the quality is of them and if they would make good squishy storage bags. They're wide enough that I think some of the squishies that um, don't fit in these ones that I recently bought, like this these don't fit cer certain squishies that I really wanted to fit in there, so I bought those to see if they might help. I also got some of these coffee filters. They're good to put in your mask if you have the slot for them. Some of mine, I think only one of mine does and then the others don't, so I'm going to have to modify them. Because I was rushing um, the first time I went, I, I went back to the station that had these A4 containers and I did manage to find a couple without the handle on the side so I went ahead and bought this one that seems thick enough to put a decent size or a decent number of doujinshi in so I'm very happy for that one and then the last thing oh I'm sorry <laughs> I did buy some haichu because haichu is delicious and I love it and then the last thing that I got is the container that I was talking about the first time. So what's nice about these is that they're stackable and I do have one over here. They're very nice to use for smaller figures like that. And then you can stack stuff on top. So this one I think I'm going to see what I can do display wise and see what would look good to display in this container. At the same time though, I think these would be amazing to use to create dioramas. Um, if you put some paper in the back that you drew or printed um, scenery and then put all your little props on the inside, I think it would look so good. And I'm thinking about doing that with some remit sets that I'm, I'm considering buying, haven't decided on yet, but uh, those are the two purposes that I'm thinking about using this for. So I'm very happy that I'm able to buy another one of these. And that's pretty much it. Um, I didn't buy more than what I bought last time, thankfully. Um, but I'm very happy that I got a chance to go back. And now knowing that it's there permanently is really nice. So I would say maybe once a month I'll go back in and see if they have new any new items. Or whenever I need something, really. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry about this weird edit that I had to add on later, but hope you enjoyed anyway, and I will see you in my next video.